cold part, money in my pocket. I'm single, my car, I'm strong, and I want to do it. Fix it up, I'm a beast with the flip. Yeah, the money don't stop. Slub and like to leave it, coming for real. The video's coming, you just wait for the drop. Tell your friends they're gonna shed his wheels. You can catch me stupid around in a lot, hey. Look his wheels and deals. Lucky's Wheels and Deals. We back out again with another little video, you guys. So today we're over here at the dealer, only auction. Uh, we're gonna see what kind of deals we can find, see what kind of cars they got, see what I can find, man. We're gonna look around, we're gonna take these cars on one on one. Let's get it. First car we lined up with is this Audi. Uh, I'm not too familiar with these Audis. Is a Audi A5? Yeah, Audi A5. Huh. I'm not too familiar with these Audis, but this thing got my caught my attention. Looks pretty good. The 2019 with 85,000 miles on it. They got the look like I got the panoramic sound Rokonda. Yeah, I think that is the panoramic. I thought it goes further back. But probably not. It would look clean if they would have painted this black. This should have been black. This should have been black. And then if this was tinted. Maybe black, nah, not, that's too much black, but yeah. You see, like this part is black, but I look, feel like kind of glass, but yeah. That shit, that shit look, should have been black. But yeah, it's an like A5. Hmm. Don't look bad. Kind of dirty in here. Got food. It's dusty too. I can't see how people treat these cars like that, man. I know my my car sometimes be having like stuff in there, but it's it's not like nasty. Like it's different. It's nasty, and and just having bags of stuff and snacks and stuff in my seats or on the floor or having things. But this is like sunflower seeds you're not gonna catch me having no sunflower seeds in my car like there's sunflower seeds um yeah all in like they they was just being nasty with it well, of course i'm gonna sit down in it because i ain't scared yeah they got sunflower seeds all over it are they just sitting there drinking coffee eating sunflower seeds drinking nasty sodas i can't say the last time i drunk a soda But this car could be cleaned up for a small fee. It got good potential. We ain't gonna nick pick it to death. I guess it's just a regular sunroof. Yeah, it's just a regular sunroof. It just made it look like a panoramic. Look at this. So it don't go all the way back here. It didn't look like that. Right here. Oh, it just looks like that. So basically, you telling me this thing stops probably like right here like right here so you don't get it. it's not a panorama it's just a sunroof but the glass is a large uh, glass I think it should work uh, how do we turn down the radio hmm. see how much we got see how much room we got left are oh, we coming right up but yeah i like this it's pretty nice pretty nice What the heck? I don't know about driving like that. That might mess up something. I like this. That feels pretty nice. Hold on, let me put it in.
college football game, same way, same thing. All of them. I was wondering what the Nas are. That's tight. That's right Probably here. remember the coach. Oh, look like what is this? SD, SD card, SD one, SD two. You have a CD in there? Guess not. Guess somebody ran out of luck. These probably cannot be no winners. That'd be crazy if like this car got repoed and deals are winners right there. I could collect them and win that ten thousand right there. That five time lucky one. I don't know how much this is. I ain't gonna touch none of that stuff. Let's listen to this motor though. Pop. Ooh, the hatchback. I didn't even realize that it was a hatchback at all. Oh yeah, I like this. I didn't even realize that it was a hatchback. That's pretty dope. can't really tell that it's a hatchback. Like, I couldn't even tell that it was a hatchback until this pops open. Like, from here, it don't look like, it still don't look like a hatchback. I like, look at it, y'all. It don't really look like a hatchback. Am I tripping or what? But look, it looked like it could open, like, now I know it's a hatchback, but like, before, like, yeah. I thought it just opened like that. But anyways, let's go find this hood. Oh. No sound bad. Got the turbo in there. Let me rev it up. Y'all know I have to rev your engines. I tell y'all, my mechanic told me that I watch all the time on YouTube. He told me to rev your engines. That's why I rev my engines all the time. <laughs> yeah, stand will work. That's good. How we, where we push start at? Oh. Oh yeah, I like this. Might have to add this to my list. We can get it for a good price. What do we have here? A nice little BMW. I don't know if this is pro wide or what. It's a 2018. It has 80,000 miles on it. It is a BMW 3 Series 330i. 330i. sporty to me even though i don't know the difference with the engines but they even they smaller ones they look sporty you always had that like rally feel but, like you can run it get on the track with one drive train man what Something's going on with this car. I don't know what the heck. All right, all right, you control that. Oh, this damn 
floor mat it's over the gas pedal this thing this motor seems weak oh, I said at least the brake looking for something fancy and special is the original drift brake <laughs> oh, there you go What's wrong with this car? This car, this BMW is trash. Garbage, Garbino. What do, hey, let me know. <laughs> Y'all comment below, let me know what BMW stand for. I heard so many different sayings growing up with this me. Oh man. <laughs> ah. Can't get over. You gotta open it twice, I guess. Oh, it says two times. Two times. Pop it two times. Yep, it's missing shaking. It's doing the Harlem shake. Yeah, it's over there shaking. Probably a turbo engine too. I'm not sure. I don't really see the turbo. All I know is doing the Harlem shake though. Yeah, we're gonna pass on this one. A hard pass. Pass folks. The lights look kinda cool though. I like that lights. I'm curious how much this gonna bring. Running like this. I'm pretty sure someone could fix it, but I don't know how much it's gonna cost them. Might cost them an arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah. Pass. So guys, we got my favorite, Chevy. Chevy Cruze. 2018 with 71,000 miles on it. So, <laughs> It's custom too, y'all. Look how racy it looks. It looks really racy. Y'all, how y'all like these? Uh, I don't know, claw marks. Like Wolverine got a hold of it. Or Freddy Cougar. I'm not really feeling that. And then they put these on there. You try to dress up. This look like it belongs on like a Buick or something. Huh? One of them Buick Sabres or something. Trying to make it look like something. They went with this color, something bright, which I don't think, I don't know, y'all think it go good? That red and that green? That look like a Christmas tree to me. <sighs> this thing, oh, it's y'all. I like this. That look like uh, Robin from Batman and Robin right there. It's going on eBay, trying to push it. That match better on a Mopar or a Camaro or a Cor or, or, or Charger or something like that. Um, or Mustang. You're trying to force it back on full. But this is a gas saver, so you shouldn't be you shouldn't be having those kind of problems. You know what I mean? Oh, 
this is cool. This is different. Let's pull it. That's cool. Add a little flavor, a little style to it. I like that. They probably just... I don't know if they glued that in, they just went straight forward. Yeet. Yeet. And they, they ain't waste no time. They just drilled and drilled and drilled in there. Holy smokes. Holy macro. But um that's just a little Chevy Cruise, but I just wanted to throw this on on the camera one time they ain't did nothing fancy inside of it i'm surprised they didn't put the ss badges on there act like it was a chevy cruise ss oh, i'm looking for a push start oh, gas saver man it's getting a little cold out there Oh man, it was my amigos that did it. This is in Spanish. My amigos is in Spanish. <laughs> they try to dress it up. They try to dress it up. Try to make it look racy. Oh, and they wasn't lying, huh? That thing stayed on E. <laughs> and that thing on E. That thing is on E. <laughs> I pushed this seat up. I ain't gonna lie, I'll drive this thing though. I'll drive it. I know these look good guys, a little gas saving. Scoots. Feel like a smaller version of a Malibu that I just hopped out of. Rev your engines. Corner works. Seems like a pretty nice car. I want to say this is a 2018. I mean, it should be. You only got 71,000 miles on it. Let's see if that heater works. Let's see if that heater kicked in. Let's see if that heater works. It should work. It's, an, it's still a new, still considered a newer car compared to, you know, compared to the vehicles I drive. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, that's blowing. Blow, blow. Why they put no tent on the windows? Oh, kind of remind me of my Nova with that extra window right there, huh? I you know, like the, the like the '69 Camaros and stuff. How they made the cars with the little what's he call that the the door window or front window, door window, whatever they call them. Well, yeah, it sounded pretty good. So this one opens twice. Let's try it here again. thing is you can peel all this off I'll tell you, you can peel all that off you can pull all this off all that off all that off and repaint the calibers so really and oh and take these off most definitely Ugh. take these off this probably double sided tape you pop those off but other than that and then this this look like it's I don't know this look like they probably they look like they painted you don't see
they might have painted that, but man, you can sand this back down and paint it back the same color as the car. So, or you can sand it back down and, and fix this and paint it back black or whatever. Light don't, don't look, it don't look too bad. Tint the windows. You got these little rain guards on there. I'll probably leave that little spoiler on there though. I kind of like that. I probably, you know, they probably should have went with some black screws or painted the screws or something like that, but that, that don't look bad. I kind of like that, in my opinion. Yeah, it might be a little tacky and generic looking, I don't know, but I kind of like the, the idea of that. I don't, I don't like a little regular car, you know, regular smeggler, Chevy Cruze. Now, this thing got my attention because I seen this big old Cadillac grill on it and that's different i kind of like that they changed the whole grill changed the whole light out put the escalade front bumper on there i actually like that i think that's pretty cool pretty dope uh they got the big wheels on there the off-road wheels uh 24 what they got what to say 20 37 by 13.50 is that right? Yeah. Or, yeah, that would have said 37 by 13. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a wild mug rip. That's pretty dope, though. Yeah, this is just like the Silverado that I got rid of. Hold on, that's different. Hold on, that's just, they debashed it and everything. Put your little tools on or whatever. Break it down, huh? Break it down, break it down. Oh, oh. So you said we could climb up in here, sit down and have lunch with the cup holders. Oh, real work, man, truck. Get here. Okay, sit there and eat my tacos, even though I don't eat meat, but you know I mean? eat my potato tacos. But uh, yeah, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. See, I ain't never really messed with it. I like that. That breaks down. Just come out of where this come from. F one fifty. F one fifty. Ford. You know it's Chevy Gang. I like the Silverado I had. Yeah. And it is a Silverado. Oh. I just like the one I had. And my knees just hit the damn. I hope it'll be either too short or too tall. I never just get in a. Oh no. I never just hop up in a car, or truck, or a vehicle by having the right height size. Either it's too far back or too small, busting my knees. Ah! Alright. Sure everything works. But it's not fully loaded like mine's. So I had, I had, well, the only thing that's probably missing is the sunroof. So let's see. Uh, pretty much got everything, got that back window. Got pretty much everything. Uh, did I have cool seats in that one? I can't remember what, wait, I don't even know what year this is. I forgot to tell y'all, so I got 25,000 miles on it. What motor y'all think is in it? Y'all think it got the 6.2 or 
because the one I got rid of had the uh, 6.2. So it was, that bad boy was fully loaded. I mean, it was still an LT, but it had everything besides, what was the LT thing? This, Look what happened, y'all. Look. Y'all see that weld? Y'all see that? What's, what y'all think happened? I bet you it still got a clean title. <laughs> y'all buying titles or y'all buying uh, the car? You know, probably still got a clean title. Oh, that's why so they like well might as well change the whole bumper it makes sense if you want to play with it. oh we crashed it okay let me go put the escalate front on there ah, i can't tell what motor that is oh speaking of this motor uh tomorrow's video tomorrow's video y'all guys are going to see the monte carlo ss they called me and said it was done and ready to be picked up but Man, all day I've been with my daughter all day. I'm just now getting out the house. And it is 6.35 in the afternoon. So they hit, they hit me up right before they closed or whatever. But, um, yeah. I can't wait to pick up my Monte Carlo. And I'll be explaining to y'all what happened. Well, I can kind of tell y'all. The uh, TCM, see I don't be knowing all this stuff. The TCM, which controls the transmission, had a short in it with the wiring. So basically we rewired everything for the swap. We put all new wiring harness, a whole new wire and everything for it. So that's what we end up doing. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the next. They got the good old H2 Hummer here. It's a 2005, it got 198,000 miles on it. I see that the headline look like it's about to fall off. So we're gonna see how good, uh, how well kept up this car, man. Like, normally these, you, normally these cars be taken good care of, man. And there's, they, they're so expensive still. I always liked it, these Hummers though. They always been boss player to me. Boss player, you know what I mean? Got the little hitch on the back. I thought about having one of these trucks just for for a work truck. Oh, this where it's supposed to be at? Damn. Right, tow it up. Put the little hitch back there. Well, there it looks pretty good. No damage. Oh. See some paint chipping right there, but hey, it is what it is. Was oh, it chipping? Yeah, it's chipping. Oh well, yeah, guys. So, I'm gonna jump myself down. Huh? That wheel's cocked that way. Let's see. Oh, okay. I was wondering, like that. It had a weird stance. I'm about to add this to my list, yo. Me list, me list. I have to add that to me list. My list. Woo! Wait. I need. I need one. Let's see. I got. I got one just like this. See, I like this uh, screen when everything's touch, with no buttons. I don't know which one I'm about to put in my Camaro. Oh, yeah, guys. I just, what is that water sound? I like how this reminds me of the Camaro, how like the windows are 
up like small windows like yeah, you know what I mean like you riding in a real tank army tank anyone that's wanted to buy one of my Monte Carlo I got my purple Monte Carlo up right now posted for 10,000 and I got that uh, gold uh, Pontiac Grand Prix posted for 13,000 so if you know anyone that's interested send them my way what, what the heck it's haunted Hey. This thing is boss though. I still like them. I don't know about that. These Hummers is just so different. And they don't like they don't really lose value like that. No more. I don't know. I'll try to put that up. I try to do the right thing and put that up, but don't look like it's working out for me. And for those that don't know, this is a Silverado engine in here. Things sound mean. A little funny style of way of opening the hood. It opens like a Corvette. They got the Corvette. They got the Corvette. Ways. What they got in there? Oh, they got the big boy 6 0. Got the 6 0 LS. LF for those that don't know, man, that's a big damn. I think it's huge, humongous. I look that damn. But uh yeah, I got the LS in there. For those that don't know, it has the same little drive train as the you know your Silverados or your Tahoe's or your Suburbans. You know what I mean? Your GMCs, all that good stuff. So, you know, it's, it, it's in the Chevy family. It's in the GM family. You know, it's Chevy related. You know what I mean? I could, I could, I could get this. I'm allowed to get it. <laughs> what is your loyalty to Chevrolet? They're not paying you or, or nothing, are they? <laughs> I remember people used to always tell me that. No, they're not. This is what I was grow, uh, raised up on, grew up to watching. Huh. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the next. Well, what the hell? Let's record this little ugly Jeep looking thing. It's a 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sports four wheel drive. 3.6 liter. Dual overhead cam. It has 158,000 miles on it. This thing is hideous. What the heck? I don't know if the color used to be red or the color used to be greenish blue, turquoise, or red. Or oh, it might have been red. Let's see. I don't know. I don't get. I don't get why people like these cars. I guess on the outside they look pretty cool, but I don't know. These, these I mean, I don't know what they trying to, let's, I mean, I guess they go off-roading, right? Because this is good to go off-roading and pop the tops. I guess one pop says something about a Jeep. Pops be saying the craziest stuff, talking about he want a Jeep. 
dead as a doorknob. So ain't no starting this one up. Or I had to get this little ugly little thing on camera. Windows. I mean, it's different. That that's the only thing about it. It's different. What the heck is this? All these bad boys on. Well, yeah, it's different. And I'm different, so yeah. I I can see why people like it. It's different. It's not my style, but you know, it's different. You know, when you see this, you know, you hopping out something different. They murdered this thing out. I just don't I just don't like how these don't have no they don't never put no carpets in these things. Guess let's go muddy. Guess he can go muddy in this. Yeah. I don't know about that all that. What is this? What the hell is this is? Over there, Let's see if I can it over there. There you go. So I got that little latch right there. 3.6, huh? What year I said this? Uh, 2014. This didn't look old. It looks hella old. Really old. Old, old. It looked like a 2005 or something. I don't got. I gotta look. What do the 2005? look like anyways yeah, we're gonna have to I'm see if I can pull this up 2005 Jeep Wrangler let me see what this one look like let me pull this thing up mm, kind of look these one look um there I guess. They ain't changed too much. I don't know. I don't really know too much about these, but yeah, this thing is ugly, man. Y'all comment below, let me know y'all like this. Is y'all style or not? It's not my style. Um I think they just kind of tore this up. <laughs> Would it be a 2014? It should look a little nicer than this. <laughs> but I guess they had other plans with this, taking it off-road. Oh god, they got a whole bunch of little rust up underneath. Rust all over this car. I hate to see what it looked like at the underneath. But it looked like they took this. I guess they did this to go off roading or hunting or something. But um, anyway, guys, enough with this ugly, dusty, dingy Jeep. So I ran into this Jeep. This Jeep looks so much better. I guess it was the color. And this, you know, I know it is my kind of color. It is blue. I kind of like this. I'm digging this. Uh, this is a 2021 uh, with 60,000 miles on it. Uh, yeah, so it's a little different. So this is, I guess, their their truck version, <laughs> a Jeep truck version, because it's built like a little truck. Bald ass tires, wires hanging out. So I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yeah, that's the spare right there. So I guess they was, I don't know, had a blowout or something. Um, let's sit back here to see how it feels. Uh, oh, it feels all the way different. I think I kind of like, this one look cleaner. I think I like the styling of the other kind of new. I'll be forgetting Jeep is the make, even though that 
is a Mopar still still Dodge. Oh man. Motor on and sound good. That motor does not sound good. Yeah, I'm going to guess I'm going to rev it up anyways. That thing sound like it's ticking. Hey, Jeeps, they feel different. I know I'd be saying, like, a lot of these cars feel the same. A lot of the sedan cars feel the same, you know what I mean? But, like, the, uh, what do you call that? The full-size sedan, they all kind of feel the same. The mid-size sedans kind of feel the same. But this one, you know, it feels different. It feels like doing something different. Blow it up. Blow it up. Hey, nah. Yeah, oh my God, that motor sound sounds like garbage. Sound like one of them raggedy Dodge motors. <laughs> oh, punk old Dodge. Garbino trash. Uh, I am curious to see what it looked like underneath. put your finger in there and do that 3.6 look like it probably got the same engine whatever I was just curious about this car, but yeah. Oh, I thought I still had it on. What kind of key fob is this? I'm still debating should I take the Malibu to California or take one of my SS's to California? I don't know. I don't know yet. Now I'm kind of feeling this Range Rover. Also, the color like a uh, burgundy not like no bright red cherry red but um yeah it got the this is a 2022 with 38,000 miles on it i guess it's the sports so what we're gonna do is i don't know how this one this one looks pretty good I like this screen. It's pretty nice. Uh -huh. yeah, this thing is pretty nice. I like those. Those are pretty good. They're not good thing they didn't go with chrome because that chrome looked like that damn lint lint cutter. I forgot which car was that. Was that that Jaguar that had those? Like one of them old school opera microphones. I mean, uh, mics. But yeah. I like this one. That's pretty slick. Range Rover's been running the, uh, running the uh, SUV, like the small compact SUV cars for a long time. Ooh, it got suede. Oh, the Acatera. This feels good. 
But like for me, y'all know I be having dirty hands and all that stuff. This after a while is gonna wear and tear. If you got lotion on your hands and all that stuff after a while, it gets all, it's gonna get slick. Y'all you know, guys can kind of already see it, it's getting slick. Well, it actually feels good though when it's brand new, but I don't know if they have some suede cleaner or whatever. We got the push start up here. Ooh, that sounds good off the bat, off the rip. This is my, this is my type of style, my stilo. Tell me we got another sunroof that's defected. Defected. Oh my, it's a 2022 and you moving slow like that. We got the panoramic joint. Well, let me try that again. That kind of bothered me how slow this thing is moving. Come on, man. This is a Range Rover. This ain't no Impala. I expect the Chevy Impala to do some stuff like that. Acting slow. Oh, no, man. I think it sound like it's about to give out or something. Now, this motor sound good. Hear that? Awesome. Oh, this tank ball is player. Yeah. Let me pull up. Like, what up? What up? But now I know, like in Hollywood, they used to always ride the Range Rover in Hollywood. But now the new cars I see them driving, the SUVs is those Lamborghini uh, Urus. That's what they ride around in. I mean, I think they still ride around the Range Rover still. But. I'm thinking a lot of people are, are trying to hop in those uh, Lamborghini Urus. And I don't, I think it, JJ was telling me something about they have that. It ain't nothing but an Audi's a Audi engine. Sometimes I like to vision myself in one of these, like, see how it is where I get bored or tired of it. Like, oh, what's up? What's good? What's happening? What's happening? What's good? What's happening, man? Man, just chilling. Just modulating. Kick back. <laughs> that thing was slow. That's crazy. We're gonna put it back. Like we found it. Now that thing was moving way faster. I like that. I wanna see what's up under this hood. What's this? What the heck is this? Gate pass only, not parking permit. A gate pass. Damn, what the hell did it disappear to? Oh, it went down there. Oh, so it could go down. Okay. Well, see, I thought that led into something else where you ain't getting your stuff back, but it went down here or down there. So, okay, we know the window. We know the door is open. Ignition on. Doors open. Too safe. Too safety. 
also. Are you be thinking like, man, can't they sell this on their lot? But I guess because the miles, I guess, because they got 38,000 miles on it. I don't, I don't know. I would think that you could sell it on the lot. I'm not sure if this, I don't think this got turbos on it. Good old Range Rover. Yeah, I don't think it's. Yeah, I don't think it's. They don't say nothing about no supercharger on it. But I like I like these colors. Like this color, I, I mess with this color. Like I like that with the black, with the little chrome accents. I like that. The black rim. The black rims is cool. I think they need like a little more pop with the. Uh, Rims though, the rims. I mean, it looks cool though. I like how they got this, the mirror. I like how they coordinate the black, 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 black top. I like that. I'm rocking with it. I don't think those, those are burgundy brimbos. I don't know if they did that or they came like that. I'm not sure. I mess with these rings over the range. I would too if someone had my girl in the range. <laughs> Psych. Give it down. All right. Let's move on to the next. Well, well, well. Last but not least. We got a 04 Pontiac GTO. They finally brought it in. This thing been sitting out there for months. I guess they're gonna run it through. I don't know what's wrong with it. I try to ask around, but I don't think no one knows. But GTO. Uh -oh, so it's a 04. This might got the, the 350 in there. Or not. No LS1. Also, they started working on it. I don't know. It's kind of hard, you know, to tell <laughs> with this motor looking like this. Like, what does it need? So I don't know. It's kind of hard, but they didn't start working on it, tearing it apart. That reminds me, I got a hood that I gotta sell. I got a GTO hood that I need to sell. brought it in oh that's that plastic piece in the back seat I think I got the exact same hood this is what I got I got this kind of hood for sale if anybody know that somebody's looking for a GTO hood Come holla at me. But well, anyways, guys, I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. Um, I finally got to do this video how I wanted to do it instead of just walking around where I picked certain cars I wanted to do. And um, yeah, man, I hope y'all guys uh, appreciate the video. I did this video for y'all. Now, this video wasn't for me. I did this for y'all. 
So I hope y'all guys enjoy this video, man. But just like that, this video is over. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Look at Wills and Diz and I'm out. Yay!